What up, guys? Seb's here. We're going to do another reaction from the treadmill. Thank you for coming back. If you are new to the channel, I developed a Norm MacDonald obsession a while back, and filming these reactions has given me an excuse to just go down the Norm MacDonald rabbit hole, and we've gone down deep. We've gone down deep. Um, and that's not a gay joke. But we are going to watch Norm MacDonald's gay jokes compilation remember if you are watching this and you're gay we love you but it's norm mcdonald man welcome and uh if you're a returning viewer welcome back thank you for the donations the likes the subscribes the conversations the suggestions keep them coming man so we're gonna check this out all right and this video this compilation is freaking 23, 24 minutes long. Holy crap. Yeah, so, man, maybe we might do our first timestamp. I don't know. Regardless, this is for y'all who recommended this. We're going to enjoy this. And we're going to keep the pauses to a minimum. And let's go. Cito this week barred all potential jurors from reading Faye Resnick's controversial new book, Nicole Brown Simpson, Life, Diary of a Life Interrupted. The judge also barred them from reading Faye Resnick's other new book entitled, Judge Lance Ito is a Big Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for Weekend Probably Updates in the middle Movie of the Review. Trial. This week I saw Interview with the Vampire. And here's, here's my review. Um, That's a real movie? Not gay enough. <laughs> <laughs> this week, a court banned gays from marching in Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade, but they will still allow them to be beaten up by drunken Irish guys. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm afraid to know what you're applauding at there. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elton John continues to deny okay. rumors that he is engaged to his tennis racket. Well, if I can be allowed a personal opinion, you know, I think Harrison Ford's new mustache works. That's pretty and by works, I mean looks really gay. <laughs> in overseas news, an attempt to lift the ban on gays serving in the British Armed Forces has been defeated in Parliament. This raises a difficult legal question. How do you exactly tell if a British guy is gay? <laughs> oh, that's funny. In an interview in this month's Vanity Fair, actor Tom Cruise attempts to end once and for all rumors that he is gay. Yeah, that's pretty bad, bro. <laughs> that's, that's like... Hey, it's good to see that they've... Like, these magazine covers have been making pretty feminine... It's great news. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army is dealing with a scandal of its own as dozens of female recruits have charged drill instructors with sexual harassment, intimidation, and even sexual assault. Analysts are calling it the best argument yet for gays in the military. <laughs> Jonathan Schmitz, the Jenny Jones guest who killed his secret gay admirer because of his fear and hatred of homosexuality, has been sentenced to 25 years in prison. Well, I guess Present. that plan backfired, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? And it's been reported that Keanu Reeves is engaged to actress Amana, Amanda Decadina. Asked to comment, Keanu said, What? I thought I was gay. I <laughs> I'd always We're going to have a little gay. 24 minutes I... of this. This is great. Beginning in March, DC Comics will change Superman's traditional red and blue costume to a new form-fitting bodysuit. The problem with the old costume? Not gay Not enough. Gay enough. <laughs> what the hell's going on in the country? That's not Superman. All right. TriStar's Picture is planning a film about the 70s disco act, The Village People. While the movie will be coming out next summer, it plans to wait until Thanksgiving to come out to its parents. 
The good. artist formerly known as Prince says he now wants to be known Rest as simply the artist. Meanwhile, I will continue to refer to him as simply the fruit. Oh, <laughs> Is, was he ever, like, In other music news, several major point. acts are on tour this month, including the Counting Crows, Metallica, and the nice. fruit. <laughs> A study on weight loss revealed this week that women who participate in a weekly diet program lost 50% more weight, snacked less, and bought more program. fruits and vegetables than women in general. Which just goes to prove my new theory, Richard Simmons is gay. <laughs> Videos, I hope. Our top story man, tonight, this week, Simmons. after months of speculation, sitcom star Ellen DeGeneres oh, finally admitted that out. yes, she is gay. Inspired by her courage, today, diet guru Richard Simmons admitted that he is really, 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 really <laughs> gay. <laughs> and the other big thing, I was reading, I read the newspapers, I also read the, uh, the, um, uh, Magazines, you know? <laughs> the periodicals. Yeah, the periodicals. Yeah. And uh, I was reading, I don't know if you read the cover of Time magazine, mm -hmm. but they got a, the cover this week is a lady saying, uh, I'm gay. Yeah. It's Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. But that's got to be a slow news week, a lady saying she's gay. That's a big story. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And, uh, but, but it's, it's brave of her, though, you know? It's yeah, brave. Yeah. It's brave it's of her. Great yeah, it is. Personal yeah. And I'll tell you what, they, I read just uh, this morning that Richard Simmons now, mm -hmm. to take it even further, he now is uh, making a statement that he's really, really, really gay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah, in Hollywood now, though. Jacques Villeneuve? Yeah, Jacques Villeneuve. Canadian. You Canadian has yeah. grew up in my city, and his father was my all-time hero. Jill. Jill. Yeah. Unbelievable. Did you, did you meet him backstage? No, I haven't. I met Randy Travis, and yeah. I'm a huge country music fan, and George Jones is my favorite, so this do, is a big night for do, me. Do you like, do you like the... Do you like, do you like the, the new country, or you like the old no, country? No, the new is gay. You know, I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but yeah, if you got a suit on. You I should a, have you a tie. Enough, yeah, what, would it kill you to wear a tie? You know, just come on, make me feel better. No, I want you know what happened is I had a tie, and uh, on the way here, a dirty homeless bum stole it. No, 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 no. Hey, look, didn't you didn't say hobo. No, you no. look like you're in town on a convention and have decided to go nuts. What? I was in a, I was in a, an elevator, you know, in this hotel, and there were these two Shriners, you know. And so I guess, I don't know, I, I thought, do I look like a gay guy or something? Because I'm in this, uh, uh... What do, you, what do you want to look like, Norm? What, do, what are you trying to look like? I want to look like a guy that would not be on Cunanan's hit list. So, I was, uh... There you go, I was, there you uh, go. Yeah, it. Simple as that. But I'm on this elevator, you know, and there's these three Shriner guys, you yeah. know the Shriners, they wear the hats. Funny hats, And sure. so they were uh, they were going, hey, how you doing there, fella, you know? So I go, I'm all right. <laughs> but I'm wearing the suit, you know, because yeah. I'm at this hotel. And so then uh, they go, uh, yeah, he goes, hey, uh, they go, later on tonight, we got a party going on up in our room. They go, we got some booze there, some broads, you know? The guy says, you, uh, you like the broads, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I go, yeah, no, I like the broads. You know? He goes, oh, yeah, no, I know. I wasn't saying anything. I just see by your soup there. I thought maybe you were uh, kind of a how do you do. <laughs> how do you do? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> That's a gay man. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How you feeling? You all right? Somebody good, told me you had the good. flu or something. Oh, no, I'm all right. How yeah. do you do, by the way? I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. You don't have the flu? You weren't feeling? I heard you were a little under the weather. Had a cold I was or a little something? Bit I was a little bit sick, you know. I went, I went to the doctor. I was going to the doctor, you know, because I'm when worried. When you're sick, you go to the doctor? Yeah, yeah. or even when I'm not. I, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's right. Even when I'm not, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm like, well, maybe today I'll get, like, bowel cancer or something, you know? Like, I, I get concerned. <laughs> 
No, I swear, that might sound weird, but there actually is no such thing. Uh, <laughs> I checked in a medical dictionary. Oh. So, uh, but I go to this doctor, and he gives me, like, they always give me these crazy things. And so he said, I want to, like, test out your body fat. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm a really skinny guy. Yeah. Like, my whole life, I've been skinny. I've been self-conscious about it, you know? Self-conscious? Right. Self-conscious. Uh, well, I always had problems with those words. I was well, we fixed that, didn't we, Norm? I was conscious. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Imagine what <laughs> you just jacked. Dude, this is not an elevator with Shriners, so just relax. <laughs> so, the guy, he says, I said, I don't need no body fat thing, man. I'm a really skinny guy. So, he puts some of these calipers on me, right. you know? And uh, he tests me out. Comes back, turns out, I'm fat as well as skinny. Like his body fat side? Seems unlikely, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm skinny, but also fat. Like, I'm, I'm basically on bones and then fat yeah. around the bones. I have a horrible body. So, so the guy tells me, you got to get to one of them gyms. Oh, you know? start working out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So I go to the gym, and holy lord, have you ever been to one of these? No, I don't know. They're that. crazy. Yeah. You got to like, uh, they got the weight, like I've you seen know, that. that's the big thing, weight. weight so you got to like lift the weight, ah, it's really heavy, and then you got to, you, know, you got to put it down, then, then afterwards lift it again, right away. And it's endless. It's like hundreds of lifting. And then afterwards, you're just like sore and you're not big or, at all. And, uh, and I don't want to be big. I have no use for being big. I'm just, you know, I'm just a guy. I watch some TV. I eat a fish sandwich. You know, I don't, I don't got to be big, big. You know, I don't need abs. You know, what am I going to do with that? I can show them to my friends. I go, hey, look, up, look on my belly. What I got here? Some abs. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, nothing, I'm just, you know, but maybe if you worked out a little bit, perhaps Shriners would leave you alone. <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem at all. The bear pump. Ah, pump up a little. <laughs> Where do you, you live here, of course, in the city, because you're doing the show. I live in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a police interrogation. <laughs> are you sure? Where, about, where, where in the city do you live, approximately, not specifically? But... I live at 56 between 8th and Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's your phone number? No, Just give me seven that. digits. All right. Uh, did uh, what, what? Your neighbors nice people? The uh, people that live around great here? people. I, every day I meet somebody new. You know, this city's great because uh, of the, the neighborly people. You know. <laughs> I don't know. But I did meet one neighbor. Interesting story, you know, uh -huh. that uh, this guy just moved in, you know, next yeah. door to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm always one to, to meet the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. You're, you like to chat with the neighbors. Yeah, yeah because, you know, so uh, I, uh, I went over to the guy, I knocked on the door next door to where I live. Mm -hmm. And I say to the guy, I said, hey, I'm your new neighbor, you know, and I said, uh, good to see you, you know, nice to, nice to run into you, you know, uh, welcome to the, yeah. the neighborhood, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And so the guy, yeah. I said, what do you do for a living there, sir? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't mind me asking. <laughs> you know, what do you do for a living? You know, I'm a, get old, I'm a uh, nightclub comic, I tell the guy. So he says to me, he says, I'm a, I work down at the University of uh, Science. Oh, there. the he Professor says, Logic I'm a, joke. Uh, I'm a, um, that's, a good, that's a good school, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the exact place. The only sure. time I'm going to pause. Uh, he says, I, uh, you haven't heard the Professor Logic joke. Get ready. Sorry. Uh, I'm a professor of Excited. logic. So I says to the guy, he says, logic, now what the hell is that? I never heard tell of that. Mm -hmm. He says, oh, well, he says it's a, a kind of a pattern of uh, a <coughs> syllogistic, uh, yeah, well, he says it's hard to explain. He says, uh, uh, why don't I give you an example? It's an important mm -hmm. joke. We're so I said, fair enough, why don't you do that? Here. So the guy says, well, he says, uh, let me ask you a question. He says, do you own a dog house? So I go, yes, I do. He says, well, then that means you probably have a dog. I said, yes. He says, uh, well, that means you're likely you have a family if you have a dog. I said, yes, I do. It's so he said, uh, well, then that means uh, you got uh, kids, you're married. I said, yes, yes, I am. He says, uh, well, then you're a heterosexual man. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, sir, I am. He says, well, you see, that's logic there. I, I asked if simply from finding out you had a dog house, I made this series of inferences mm -hmm. and... Uh, I have found that you're a heterosexual man simply from the fact that you had a dog house. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, good God, isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I said, well, I won't waste any more of your time there, uh, oh, neighbor. And I said, I'll see you. See you later. See you around. Okay. So, uh, 
I, went, I said, come on, come by one day and have a, a chicken with me. So anyways, I left. <laughs> so I left. So I go, I go to get a bus, you know, to the bus stop. Uh -huh. And I, I, I walk down to the bus stop, and I'm still thinking about this thing that happened to me, you know. <laughs> and I'm standing at the bus, and uh, 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 no bus coming at all, you know. Yeah. Five or six of us standing around, <clears> and uh, <clears throat> one guy lights up a cigarette there. And he goes... He goes, as soon as you light up a cigarette, the bus comes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he smokes the whole damn cigarette, no bus comes. <laughs> right, right. So uh, I said to the guy, well, that theory really worked, huh? <laughs> yeah. And the guy goes, well, sometimes it works. Anyways, the guy goes, uh, what's new with you? Mm -hmm. I go, well, I uh, had an interesting thing happen to me today. I said, I met my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, yeah? I go, he had a hell of an interesting job. I said, he's a professor of logic down at the University of... Science. Science. <laughs> and uh, so the guy says, is that so? He says, Lo uh, Professor of Logic. He goes, what the hell is that, Logic? Mm -hmm. I said, well, it's a series of Scylla something or other. Right, right. I said, I can't remember exactly, but I said, uh, I'll give you an example if you want to hear an example. There you go, baby. So the guy goes, all right, fair enough. So I said, uh, let me ask you this. I said, uh, 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 do you, let me ask you a question. Do you own a doghouse? Mm -hmm. And the guy goes, uh, no, I don't own a doghouse. <laughs> so uh, I says, the guy says, oh, yeah, you're one of them gays. And he will work, right? It's such a clever joke. Yeah, make comedy great again, bro. What great stuff you can learn at yeah, that nice. University of Science there. Yeah. All and right. then, and then the guy, joke. and then get this, get right. this. There's more. This gay guy <laughs> yeah. invites me to have a chicken at his place. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's some kind of euphemism. I don't remember yeah. that. Watch out. All right. right. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Uh, it's and you know, you kind of oh surprised me because you... Uh, you did MTV Beach House recently, <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, I, there's a certain kind of person you expect to show up on the MTV Beach House, and I hear, we'll be right back with MTV Beach House, our special guest, Norm MacDonald. Like, what the horrible. hell are you doing? It's the sh it's What this, was that? It's the show on MTV, right? I know. And it's at a beach. It's at a know? beach. And they don't, they don't script anything, like, you know, they, they do, like, for, anyway, so the, the dude, the host, was like, hey, Norm, can you wear a, do you mind wearing a, a pair of uh, trunks, you know, bathing trunks? And I go, no, I don't want to wear that, you know, because I'm like, uh, my body's like all weird looking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all these, everybody else is super hot ladies and super hot men, you know, I don't, you know, whatever. Whatever you, uh, wow, so, uh, got an issue about that. <laughs> all right, go ahead. So I'm on the show, right? So they're saying, hey, come on, seriously, put on the trunks. I'm like, no, man, I don't want to. So then they, uh, they think this will be funny. They go, hey, we're going to show you a fashion show. Some dudes will come out, you know, uh, and show you, the, you see what you think. I go, what? So all of a sudden, these three dudes come out, right, dancing around in their uh, thongs and shorts and everything. They're wearing thongs or shorts? Which it's, one? Uh, bathing trunks, but some of them are like thongs where you can see their uh, dirty arses. So, <laughs> so, so, I'm, so I'm like watching it, you know, and I'm like, oh, like man. It's Yeah, go ahead. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> I guess it is. Okay, go all ahead. English. So I said... You know, oh, yeah, no, I'm just trying to go, oh, yeah, ha, that's funny, right? <laughs> and, uh, you do a lot of that at yeah. MTV. Yeah. <laughs> so then the guy, the host, he goes, to this one guy who is very, very, very gay, he goes... <laughs> what? How do you know that? <laughs> no, I mean, he had you know, a sign? <laughs> yeah, he looked very, very gay. He says to this dude, he says, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks if you lap dance uh, on Norm. You know what I mean? Right. All of a sudden, this dude, like, hey, 20 bucks, I guess he didn't have much money, starts <laughs> running towards me, right? <laughs> So I look up, here's this nude, almost nude dude running toward me, right? So I think in my head, okay, man, pretty soon the guy's going to be writhing around on my lap with his ass, you know? And uh, I don't want that on TV, you know, forever. No, they... it's okay to talk about it, but you don't want to see it. Right. They videotape that and for it's there forever. So meanwhile, what can I do? You know, you can't hit a guy because it looks bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know? Even yeah. though, of course, a woman could hit a, a naked guy running at him. Sure, that's fine. okay. But a go. man can't hit him. Yeah. So I have to think fast. There's only a second. So I bolt. I take off, right? <laughs> <laughs> you started running, too? Yeah, running down the beach. <laughs> Good run. The guy catch you or no? Yeah, you know? and then I had to come back on. They're like, oh, Mr. Homophobic. Hey, what, 
Won't let a guy grind his ass in the air. <laughs> You gotta work on that. But here's the problem with taking pictures. Yeah. Uh, photographers are largely uh, flamboyantly gay. Right. And uh, so then when they take, a good look for them is a flamboyantly gay look. Right. So when they take their picture, your picture, you know, they want you to look flamboyantly gay. And then you're like, can I look a little less flamboyantly gay? And they're like, no, this is good. I'm like, I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> Well, again, it's tonight and tomorrow night. The Comedy Works in Larimer Square. Thanks so much for tucking Thanks, it out man. without coffee. It's uh, great to meet fun. you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. All right. Uh, on Excellent over... suit. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah just I like that one. Brand new. Oh, my. Let's get back over to Angie and Chris, hey, please. Wait a minute. Wait. And Norm, what is wrong, Norm, with flamboyantly gay? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> ask you. <laughs> I ask you, Norm. <laughs> Ooh, get a little close to home see, this morning, didn't it? Did you see this outfit? Did you see this thing? This is what you should have worn for the headshot, Norm. Come on. Panache! It is cool. Huh? Come on. You wear that between what he's yeah. wearing now and ending up in the dress. That was halfway. Yeah. What was he going to say? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Norm could have worn this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, Johnny Weir called. He wants his outfit back. Oh, hey now. He's talking to you, too, not me. I don't me. know who he's talking to. I don't know. Maybe he's talking to me. Because Johnny Weir would look fabulous in this. He'd look good in either one of these outfits. Yes, he would. I, if I, this was a memoir, if this were a memoir, yeah. I would put juicy things from my own life. Right, right. Like, what kind of things would you put in there that nobody knows? Well, I guess the biggest thing that oh. nobody knows about me is I'm a deeply closeted gay man. <laughs> what? I mean, that's, I mean, that's, you're a gay man? I'm not gay. <laughs> I said I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> What? I'm Wait. as straight as an arrow. <laughs> so you're a gay man who won't admit it. No, no. Do you know what deeply closeted means? Yeah. It means a man who will not acknowledge that he's gay. Yes. So I'm telling you, I'm not gay. <laughs> I got a wife. I just, you got a wife. I just got married because I thought to uh, go through that charade to uh, keep appearances up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trump? I just, I didn't mean Trump. I guess I feel as a, a closeted gay man living in a deeply, uh, like a sham of a marriage, I have the right to say more, but I guess I don't. Uh, you know, on your last show, I came out as a deeply closeted gay man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he talks about it. And I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> David, uh, on one time, and this is a true story, and Dave, you'll, you'll attest to this. Bought me a beautiful leather jacket. Oh, that's right. Well out of my price range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I'm no one to take charity. You're <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. doing like a Mark Twain one-man show. Yeah. <laughs> all alone He's in He's too entertaining, man. Uh -huh. uh, they don't stand a chance, even though they're all legends. I'm not one before. to take charity. <laughs> he I said, said I sucked him off. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise well, ending. You're making me out to be hell. Oh, hold it up over here. <laughs> What's something people don't know about you? I'm a oh, deeply a closeted gay guy. No kidding. Well, I'm not coming out, though. Wait a minute. What are you revealing here today? I'm, I'm not revealing anything. I'm saying I'm deeply closeted. Well, that means you're gay. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Why would I say that? I'm deeply closeted. No, but I, that means you're very, very gay, but you don't want to come out. You're so oh, closeted. Gosh. That I refuse to say I'm gay. Right. Exactly. But that doesn't that mean you're gay? Hey, 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 easy, buddy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this book will reveal much. <laughs> now Norm, I when I was it. young, there was a guy, very young, there was a guy on Peyton Place it. that Chris Connolly played, Norman, oh. you know, and he was kind of like a deeply closeted man. And uh, then there was <clears throat> Norman Bates, Norm from Cheers. They were all fools or deeply closeted homosexuals. Norman, where are you? Uh, starring that was Red a funny Fox. play. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Norman, is that you? Norman, is that you? That was a funny play. That's what I'm thinking. That's the punchline of yes. that. Yes, and he's gay. Yeah. So, anyways, you know, you see enough of these 
<clears throat> deeply closeted gay guys named Norm, all of a sudden you go, wait a second, am I deeply closeted? In fact, you admitted earlier in this interview that you are. I admitted that I was deeply closeted, but I will never admit I'm gay. <laughs> so you're deeply closeted control, about what? Dude. Being gay. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Next up, coming up on this series, is we're going to check him out on, the, apparently, on the, Huffington, on the Huffington Post. Apparently, he was hilarious. Well, we've been doing this for 25 minutes, so we're going to stop there. Thanks for going down this ride with me. Oh, man. Gosh, he's funny. Like and subscribe. Peace.